dude. That's just insane. What's going on everybody? This is Theo here from golf for us and we're finally back with another YouTube video. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on it, so here we are. We're out here at a dried up lake. Uh, we've never done something like this before, so we're super excited to see how it goes. The clubhouse was super cool about it, so we could come out here tonight and see how it is. So for our tools here, we got one rake, two rakes, and a, a big trash can with some wheels on it. So hopefully we can get at least a few thousand golf balls tonight just between us two. Uh, but yeah, let's get to it. Let's go check it out. As you guys can see a little bit here, this is kind of going to be the main idea tonight. Just using the rake just like that and kind of picking up all the golf balls we can that's under here. I mean, that's already a pretty good handful. So we'll be doing this for a few hours tonight, see how it goes. I mean, kind of just raking along this. All right, for these clips, I'll just be voicing them over and walking you guys through what I'm seeing, but this was our first spot of the night, and honestly, it was a lot better than we thought. I didn't expect it to be that good right here, so just wait till you see what we get into later. We gotta fill up this trash can a lot. There's the first little bit. So we got our first net of balls in. It wasn't a very big one, but we both got back to raking in a much better spot. And as you can see, it was working pretty well. And we found a bunch of cool golf balls too. So here's one in this next clip. A little gold Chromax. It's a good find. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Let's keep it rolling. That was just one of the more rare golf balls we found during this video. And there's a bunch more pretty insane ones I'll show you a bit later. So stick around if that's something you want to see. But anyway, we got back to filling up our second bag and our filmer here found another pretty cool golf ball. And you can see me in the background just filling that bag up and it did not take very long. Got the second bag of the night here. Another five minutes later, pretty much. I mean, whew. there's still so many golf balls. It's crazy. It's almost overwhelming. I mean, if you look at that, got some soccer's. I see some nice balls. Bucket's already filling up. That second bag was a lot better than the first one, and you can see me here just picking up the rest of the scraps from what we just raked out. And I know a lot of the balls may not look too good right now, but you just gotta wait until we clean them. This clip right here is when things really started to pick up. It seemed like the deeper and deeper he raked, the more and more golf balls that would pop up, and you might be able to hear me freaking out in the background, but the crazy part is this wasn't even close to the best spot of the night. It got even better than this. Net number three. This was a big one. I mean, this thing's filling up quick. Right here, we got a classic case of the quicksand. It's about all you really got to watch out for out here. But uh, you can see he's knee deep, just took the wrong step. I'm trying to get out. <laughs> Come on. There we go. <laughs> yeah. And that right there is why we couldn't walk out to the middle of this lake. We would have probably ended up waist deep, not being able to get out. So throughout the night, we kind of just stuck to raking the sides of it, which was still working really well. Right here, our good friend slash filmer for the night was hanging out in the more dry area and decided to pick up some more golf balls for us. And we weren't really getting too many of these balls because a lot of them were damaged from the sun, but it doesn't hurt to grab them. And if you look closely, you can see a ton of spiders all over the rocks, which we didn't realize that night, but in the morning, he had a ton of bites all over his hand. So maybe it was a good thing we were staying away from those balls. But now we're back to Taylor raking them and me picking them up, trying to fill up our third bag of the night. And this strategy is what was working best for us. But even still, he would rake up so many balls that both of us would have to get down and start grabbing them. I don't know how long we've been out here so far, but it's pretty good. Honestly, a lot better than we even thought. Super nice, this course. Let us come out here to their dried up lake. That Almost halfway full now. And it's probably been like half an hour. So we're just gonna keep going. Keep you guys updated. And uh, what you guys are seeing right now is only, really only about a quarter of the work. Once we get all these balls, we still gotta clean them, which probably takes the longest. We clean every single one of these by hand, so we'll probably be cleaning for a straight 10 to 12 hours tomorrow. And then we gotta sort them, which takes a really long time. And then we gotta sell them and pack them and all that. So, I mean, even though we come out here for like two or three hours and find a few thousand balls, there's, days that go into it after so this is honestly almost even the fun part but i don't know <laughs> 
It may not seem like it, but raking these golf balls was actually super tiring and it was kind of rough on our backs, so Taylor took a break from the rake and I got back to it. The hardest part about it was getting through these rocks on the top, but once we did, balls would just start pouring out, and honestly, I can't complain because we were finding more golf balls than we ever have before, so it was totally worth it. What is this, dump number four now? I think so. Yeah, four. Go for it. more than halfway. Yeah, we're getting there. Probably like two more dumps and this bucket will be good. All right, we got our fourth net in and the trash can is getting there, but we went back to work and right here we both had really good spots going. I was kicking them out and picking them up while Taylor was going to work with the rake, so we were pulling out tons of golf balls right here. But this still wasn't the best spot of the night, so we're going to dump this net out and then get to it. Look at that. I mean, that's at least 100 balls for sure. And this is like our fifth net? Fifth one, yeah. Fifth one? I mean, I definitely, I think it's more than 100 balls per net, for sure. Here's bag number five. It's getting pretty full. Yeah. We'll do one more bag. And then drop the first bucket off at the truck. So right here was pretty much the best spot of the night. We saw so many golf balls stuck in the dirt around here, so we knew there must be hundreds underneath, and we were not wrong. It was literally a never-ending stream of golf balls, so we had a lot of raking to do. Dude. That's just insane. After raking the spot for a while, it was time to pick them up, but it didn't take long for our net to fill up, so it was time to top off our trash bin. This is net number six going into our bucket. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty full for now. It's a big bucket. I, six nets, honestly, probably 150 to 200 balls a net. And it's been like a little, like hour and a half maybe. We're gonna take this one back to the car and we'll show you guys what it looks like empty in the first bucket. Feels like it just wants to tip over. And that would suck. Yeah, we're definitely still going to need to do some more buckets. It was getting late, so our friend that was filming us left after we finished that first bucket you guys just saw, but Taylor and I got back to work for another two hours, which got us another full bucket, as you can see, and we were looking really good on balls for the night, so it was time to go to the car wash. We went to a self-service car wash because there was a lot of mud on the balls and we wanted to give them a good rinse so they were easier to clean and it definitely helped a lot. They were cleaning up pretty nice. But this was just a quick spray. We still have to clean every single one of these by hand, which you'll see in a little bit in a time lapse coming up. About 10, 10.30 now. We got to the course and started fighting balls around 7, so it was a solid three-hour hunt. But I think we probably found somewhere around 2,000 maybe closer to 2,500 golf balls, which is super solid just for the two of us. Time to go to bed and we'll see you guys in the morning. All right, it's the next day now. We gotta get all these golf balls into the backyard. So we're gonna dump them into our big buckets right here and then fill it up with some water and a little bit of bleach and then get to cleaning. Basically, we dumped all the golf balls we found into these huge buckets and carried them to our cleaning spot in the backyard, and then we filled them up with some water and we used a bit of bleach. Now we're ready to clean them, so we took a quick pool break, and the time lapse of us cleaning them was way too long, so this is the start of it, and then I'll cut to the end here, and this pile was huge. We cleaned so many golf balls. And we also did take a few breaks, of course, but we pretty much cleaned from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. on this day. All right, we finally finished cleaning them. There's honestly way too many golf balls to count right now. Taylor's over there sorting them, so we'll have a better number on it soon, but 
Right now, I'd honestly guess it's probably around 3,000 golf balls. There's a lot of them. Emptied these buckets, cleaned every single ball by hand. It took a really long time. He's kind of just getting buckets and sorting all the golf balls by Brandon model. He's been already doing it for a little while. He's got a bunch of whites, yellows, and then these all kind of still need to be sorted. But a lot of the golf balls are in decent shape, and there is some that aren't the greatest, so we'll probably hit him at the range or play him ourselves. But finally finished cleaning. That's kind of what it looks like. Here's all the rare golf balls we found last night. I'll uh, show you guys all of them real quick. Um, first is we found two Chromaxes, which is pretty cool. We've never found a silver one before, so we'll add that to the collection. And then we also found two Eclipses. This one has a big crack in it, but this one's in super good condition, so we'll definitely hold on to this one. This might end up getting played at the range or something, but both cool golf balls. And then we found two super rare TP5 Pixes. Um, I've never seen the sushi one before or the pizza one, so we're super stoked that we found these. I think I like the sushi one a lot. And then we found two Callaway Truvises with some designs we've never seen before. This one's got those Canada leaves, which is super cool. And then this, I'm honestly not sure what it is, but we've never found a Truvis that has this uh, design on it, so we're going to keep it. And we found another Spongebob golf ball. We've actually found a lot of these before, but this one's in super good condition, so we'll add it to our collection. And then these golf balls are actually supposed to fly straight. I'm pretty sure they're illegal to play. It says ultimate straight right there, but somehow someone didn't hit it straight and it ended up in a lake, so kind of funny that we found it. And then this one is a St. Andrews golf ball that looks crazy old. I mean, you don't really see dimples like this anymore, and it kind of sounds like a bouncy ball when you bounce it. So I don't know if this is something special or not, but I'll have to look into that. And speaking of old golf balls, this one might even be older. I mean, the dimples are barely even there anymore, and it sounds crazy when you bounce it, but maybe we'll cut it open if that's something you guys want to see. And then this golf ball is kind of funny too. I wish it was in better condition. It's all cracked up, but it's kind of a cool ball. And then right here, we got a golf ball that says, all I want for Christmas is a hole-in-one, which is kind of funny because it ended up at the bottom of a lake, so nowhere near the hole. And then this one's super weird. I think it's a mini golf ball, and I'm not sure who would play a ball for mini golf on a real golf course, but it looks like someone did and we found it, so that's a first for us. But that's pretty much all the kind of cool rare golf balls that we found last night. So let us know which one is your favorite in the comments. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed it. We actually really like making these YouTube videos too, kind of showing you guys more behind the scenes of everything that we do. If you want some of the golf balls that we found, we got them all on our site right now. Either look up golfforyoushop.com or click the link in our description. And uh, we also got hats too, if that's something you're interested in. And hopefully we'll have some golf tees coming out soon too. But all our best brands and models sell out real fast. So if you do want some golf balls, make sure to check that out now. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. This was our first YouTube video in a really long time. We had a lot of people asking for it, but there are so many more golf courses out here that we got to go to. So make sure to stay tuned, turn on post notifications because we'll have some more videos coming out soon. But thanks guys.